Hi there, in today's video you will learn how you can create this awesome pitch deck presentation in PowerPoint. What's special about this presentation, is that it has a clickable sliding menu, that can take you to any slide that you wish. To create this menu, we will be using Morph Transition, and Hyperlinks. And by the way, feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the information is in the video description. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos, thank you so much. And now my friends, let's start the interstellar journey. Alright, let's jump into PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint Office 365 for Mac, and as always, I have already created some slides for you, let's just quickly go over the structure of this presentation. First we have an intro slide, after that, a slide for a menu, and then the rest of the slides, with the presentation content. All of the slides are using the morph transition, which helps to create the sliding menu animation. And as you can see, it looks like some of the slides have two slides in them. Don't worry, I will explain how everything works, with a simplified example. So let's say this is our presentation, and let's first create an intro slide, let's insert a title, and let's insert a photo background. Let's crop the photo to 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Let's resize it, so that it covers the whole slide, and let's send it to back, so that we can see our slide title. And by the way, let's make the slide title white. Nice, now let's just duplicate the first slide, and let's change the slide title on the second slide to, Menu Slide. Alright, and now let's add a blur effect to the menu slide photo. Let's go to the picture format, artistic effects, and let's choose the blur effect. I'm using a blur radius of 70. Nice, now let's get back to the first slide. And let's copy the photo. After that, we can delete it. And now, let's paste the photo as the slide background picture fill. As you can see the photo is not selectable anymore, because we have pasted it, as a slide background picture fill. That's good, and now let's make sure, that we apply this fill to all of the slides. And on the second slide, as you can see, we still have the blurred photo, and now, a sharp photo background as well, that's good. Alright, and now let's start creating the menu icon. And to create it, all that we have to do, is to insert three little rectangles. Now let's just rename these little rectangles in the selection pane, let's start their names with double exclamation marks, this way the morph transition will work as expected later on. Next let's copy the menu icon to the second slide, and let's delete the middle bar. We will rotate the rest of the rectangles, to create an X sign.
Nice, next let's make sure that all of the slides are using the morph transition, and I'm using a transition duration of 1 second. Alright, and now on the second slide, let's make sure that we group the blurred background photo and the slide title into one group, let's not include the X sign. And now let's paste this group to the first slide, and let's attach it to the left side of the first slide, just like that. Let's just make sure that the menu icon stays on top of all the layers. Great, now let's add a link to our menu icon. Let's select the first menu bar, let's go to insert, action, link to, and let's choose slide number 2, where our menu is. Let's add the same link to the rest of the menu bars, so that no matter on which menu bar we click, we always go to the second slide, which is our menu slide. And now on the second slide, let's link the X sign, to the last slide viewed. And now let's check out what we have created so far on the full screen. And as you can see, once we click on the menu icon, the menu flies in from the left side, and once we click on the X sign, it closes. Nice, well done. Now let's make it a bit more interesting, and let's add a few more slides. Let me duplicate the first slide, and let's create the About Us slide, our Team slide, and our Product slide. And let me update the menu slide, so that we have links to all of the new slides, just make sure you link your text boxes to the correct slides, and everything should work just fine. And now, since we have an updated menu slide, let me group everything into one group, except the X sign, and let's replace the old menu with a new one, in all of the slides. And as before, let's make sure that the menu icon stays in front, so that everything works fine. Alright so let's check it out on the full screen. As you can see the menu icon animation doesn't look right, let's make sure, that we can see the X sign on the second slide, and let's try again.
Nice, now everything seems to be working just fine. Congratulations, now you know how you can create this awesome clickable menu in PowerPoint. And now let's have a second look at the pitch deck presentation, and as you can see, here as well we have an intro slide, with a menu attached on the left side. Next we have a menu slide, and after that, the rest of the slides, with a menu attached on the left side. Feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the info is in the video description. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below, what you would like to learn next. Thank you so much, and until next time.